Hello world, it's Gorgio 4 with you once again. Hope you guys are doing well. As promised, my coverage of Tokyo Comic Con. I'm gonna get uh, straight to it with you guys. There was not an official trailer for Godzilla King of the Monsters released online. The director, Michael uh, Dofferty, I think that's how you say it, did say the trailer will come out next week. So unfortunately, there's no full length trailer I can show you guys to react to. But there was a small leaked 50 second trailer that they showed that someone was able to film. Unfortunately, there's no audio, but I will still do a reaction to it. However, they did unveil the pictures of the new SH Monster Arts figures for Godzilla, Rodan, Mothra, and King Ghidorah. And I will definitely cover those and give you my thoughts on those. So first thing, let's, uh, let's do a reaction to this short 50 second um, leak teaser with no audio. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. This will be kind of funny though, I'll just have to talk over it, I guess. Right, okay. Uh oh, it's uh, Millie Bobby Brown using a radio. And then we've got the wonderful ocean. I love it, okay, black. Now, oh hey, something frozen, presumably King Ghidorah. People running like hell, Rodan, I'm assuming. And uh, uh, we're inside some ship or something. It looks like Millie Bobby Brown's like, where the hell is anybody? Okay. She's crying. She's crying some more. And boom, Godzilla King of the Monsters. Okay. All right, well, there wasn't really much to look at. And I do believe they already showed a similar teaser at Comic-Con this year. Um, so there's not really much to see. So when the actual trailer does come out, I will do uh, more of a full reaction. But let's get into the real juicy stuff. So here we're looking at apparently concept art for Mothra. And Mothra is, uh, well, he's really, I can't really see him or her. Because it's just giant wings and then a small little body. Makes sense physically, right? It should have huge wings. But you can't really see anything about Mothra. Which, you know, personally, Mothra has a lot of character from her face and her features and her eyes. See, the first comment here on Facebook says, body too small. Um, I need to see her in action. I need to see... I'll look at the figure in a second here. But I need to see her in the movie. Jump to Rodan. Here he is. Here he is. All right. He does look kind of kind of evil. Uh, he does look like he's smiling. Let's see if there's another image. Here's from the back. From what it looks like, this Rodan is much more of a bird-like um, monster than before. Because he has, I'm assuming those are feathers or some kind of weird scaling or something like that. But he, according to like the concept art for Rodan, he looks like a bird. And that leaked image you may have seen of Rodan a couple months ago was actually accurate. So he has feathers like a bird, which some of us, basically the people who like the accurate depictions of prehistoric animals are going to be a little annoyed. Flying reptiles were not dinosaurs, so they probably didn't have feathers. And then the early dinosaurs with feathers didn't really fly. The first one to fly was like Archaeopteryx. So Rodan must be some kind of ancient bird-like creature after the dinosaurs. He's like a giant bird then. For all of us growing up, Rodan was a pteranodon. He was an ancient prehistoric flying reptile. I think for some of us who had in our depiction like he's a big flying pteranodon, he is a flying reptile, this is more of a bird version, which for me, I still think he looks really cool and I gotta see him in action in the movie, but I do like the design. So I do like the figure, figure wise, it's pretty nice. I need to see how big he is in scale, uh, but the figure's not bad. Anyway, let's move on to the one we're really here for. I'm gonna look at King Ghidorah. I've been trying to not look at this, but I'm gonna take my first look at King Ghidorah. Here we go. Oh, wow. He big, he is big, wow. It definitely has more of a medieval looking dragon uh, appearance to it. Um, and he's very, very yellow. I don't know if he's golden or not. According to the toy, he does appear to be yellow, but not like very golden. So I'm assuming in the movie he'll be more golden. Uh, of course, toy-wise, I'm sure this toy is not going to be cheap. Man, it looks huge. 
my my one complaint already would be that maybe just the pictures aren't very good quality but like it just seemed like they just colored king Ghidorah in like one generic form of of yellow whereas i believe in reality he probably has areas where he's darker where he's more vibrant and there's a bit of shading at the bottom of them but like for an sh monster arts toy come on you gotta give me a little more color than that i love how fearsome he looks his legs are very small but his uh his wings are huge. Confirm two tails, so I like his design. I'm sure the toy is gonna cost way too much. Now I'm looking at Mothra. Okay, now in the figure form you can actually see his body, but it's still kind of hard to tell. Like already people are complaining that Mothra is too small. Instead they just kind of made her too small and gave her wings that are too big, but it's we'll see how she is in the movie. According to this concept art, from what it looks like, Godzilla and King Ghidorah are fighting underwater. Um, here's a more clear version. Now this could just be concept art, this could mean nothing. They could also be frozen in ice. Now, there seems to be something, I think King Ghidorah is frozen in Antarctica. Yeah, we'll see if that's an actual battle that happens in the movie, but you know, I do think that this could just be concept art. I wouldn't get super excited, but maybe after King Ghidorah breaks out, him and Godzilla fight in Antarctica and they start fighting underwater. What I think is really cool because Godzilla has a total advantage there, right? King Ghidorah probably can't swim very well. Um, whereas like outside of the ground, you know, King Ghidorah can fly, so he has a huge advantage there. And as for Godzilla, they have the new picture of the SH Monster Arts Godzilla. I mean, there's some few differences. And uh, his snout seems to be a little smaller now. And his dorsal fins are definitely like we've known before. They were more like the original 1954 Godzilla. Also, his tail has more of a ball curve at the end, like the classic. I think it's a good look. I like the changes they made. I do think... And the SH Monsters figure also looks better than the one they did for 2014. Definitely an improvement on Godzilla's design, which is good because and that's very important that he looks better. But it does look like King Ghidorah is definitely a lot bigger than Godzilla. And if you've seen the poster art, um, this SH Monsters figure, King Ghidorah is going to be ginormous. I think if you've seen like the Destroya figure, which was already huge for an SH Monster figure, this one's going to be bigger. It's probably going to be the biggest one. I mean, you're going to have to put down something like, I'm thinking 300 US dollars. Uh, I'm betting three, two to 300. I'm really hoping NECA or Bandai pull through and give me some good old cheap vinyl figures. I'll take them. I mean, nothing wrong with some vinyl plastic figures that uh, with, with less posability, but hey, much more affordable. <laughs> Okay, so my overall reaction, I nice that uh, they revealed the figures so early because usually it takes forever to, for them, you know, we get promotional pictures here and there, but I do appreciate the fact that they just unveiled all the monsters and unveiled the SH Monsters figures, uh, which is really nice. I don't know yet about pricing, but I'm assuming they're going to be a bit high, but I was never expecting to, to buy these figures, but it's a nice first look at the monsters in the movie. A little bit sucky that they didn't drop the trailer, but it's okay, we can wait a week if, like you promised, that's fine. And I'm just hoping that uh, soon they'll start unveiling the other toys, the other Bandai figures or whatever other um, marketing partnership they're doing because obviously for some of us, <laughs> these figures are a bit out of the question and maybe we want more just uh, a fun vinyl figure that we can uh, handle and play with. I remember that for 2014 Godzilla Bandai Creation released a, a larger 20 inch uh, vinyl plastic figure that for me would have been great. They just released it so late I never got a chance to get my hands on it. I went instead for the NECA figure because that came out sooner. But hopefully Bandai will soon unveil their figures or NECA as well um, because those are definitely the cheaper options. Do keep an eye out for Toy Fair which is in February and I will probably have to do an update then too because then we'll get some more information on probably the Bandai and the NECA figures for this film. And uh, get your wallets ready. And then of course, expect in like a year or two, definitely X Plus is going to do the figures for this film. So for those of you that are, you know, really into those, oh man, G-Fest next year is going to be crazy. The dealer's room is going to be a line out the door. There's going to be so many figures coming out. But... Uh, Overall, nice little uh, Comic-Con before the end of the year. A little shamed, that, uh, a little sad that we didn't get the actual trailer. But I think getting to see the toys, getting to see the monsters for the first time is exciting. Let me know what you guys thought. Did you watch the trailer? What did you think of the toys? 
What do you think of Mothra's design? I do feel like so far, Rodan, King Ghidorah, everyone's cool with. I think Mothra is going to be more controversial and it's going to be more debate. So I will say this, don't put so much assumption just based on the toy because it is a toy. You need to see them when they're in the movie and that makes a huge difference. Um, so I would just say, you know, hold your assumptions and wait until the movie comes out to see how they act and, and feel in the film. That's what I would say. But anyway, um, definitely will be reacting when the actual trailer drops probably this next week. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Drake? What? Where's the door hole? <laughs>